Hi everyone, time for Just Ask Mike. There's a lot of people that send me a ton of questions and some great photos, and I'm going to read a couple of you of these for you today. So, if you were, if I wasn't a contractor, and this is, I, unfortunately they're not telling me who it is. If I wasn't a contractor, what would you be? I think I'd be a teacher, that's pretty clear because I didn't naturally know that I was one, but I'd like that, I like to teach. What is passive solar design? Okay, this is pretty simple. What I want to do with this is tell you, it's all about the sun. So as we used to years ago, put canopies over top of a window. That was on purpose, a perfect degree, a perfect height to the glass because that sun in the hot summer when it's coming in, we don't want that inside the house. Those canopies we don't use anymore. But it was perfect to stop that sun from coming in. In the winter, when the sun comes down, it shines under that canopy and helps gain solar passive heat inside the home. Same as a concrete floor that you may put inside your home on purpose to gain that solar thermal. In other words, when that sun hits the concrete, it absorbs the heat and it gives that heat off throughout the night. So it's just using the sun, that's the theory. Next question. I know you love metal roofs, but recently, I've heard you talk about asphalt shingles. Why has this changed your opinion? Now, I'm seeing companies start to think about that asphalt shingle. They're making them so there's no black streaks on anymore because they 3M come up with an infusion, with a copper infusion inside the mix, we're gonna call it, which saves the life of the shingle, increases the life of the shingle, stops any algae buildup, uh, and stops those black streaks with another company taking that same shingle and then putting in environmental. In other words, they're taking and recycling tires, milk jugs, and adding it into the mix. Now we're being environmentally friendly. For every roof done with this shingle, it's like planting two trees outside. That's the equivalent of being, let's say, friendly to mother nature. That's got my attention because that, to me, that works. The same person, unfortunately I don't know their name, but great, sent me in a bunch of pictures. So the first one I'm looking at here is Total Spaghetti Factory in one octagon box is what it looks like, way too many lines. You're not allowed that many wires in one box, which tells me, was an electrician that touched this one. Is that a mess? Yes. Is that a fire waiting to happen? Possible. Does it meet code? No. The next picture. This is beautiful. This one is actually about a panel. It's a fuse panel, so it's not a breaker panel, which says it's old. And you can tell by the wires that hang down, it was not touched by an electrician. This panel, they should call in a licensed electrician to fix this because it does become a fire hazard. Now, this is kind of cute, okay? This picture here, there's nothing in code that says you can't do it. It's actually kind of smart. They're taking the light, they're putting in a, a, a tin pie pan, and what that's going to do is reflect, reflect the light down. Is it smart? No. Does it work? Yes. Is it against code? No. Should they install a proper light with an octagon box? The answer is yes. Bring in a licensed electrician. Keep sending in your questions, your photos, because I'm liking this stuff.